Hello, everyone. This is Kelly Beard of KarmicTools.com, and this is your article that covers Venus retrograde through Gemini, the new cycle where the theme is cultivating your authentic voice and renewing your self-expression. So Venus will be in Gemini from April 3rd to August 7th of 2020 and technically retrograde May 13th to June 25th. It's time to review, reflect, and set conscious intentions for your own core values and current priorities. This new Venus cycle with the Gemini theme is May 2020 through January 2022. Venus rules love, values, art, beauty, and culture. Venus is love. Love is the unifying energetic force that exists in and through all life. Venus is values. Venus is values are what you spend your resources on, time, energy, and money. Venus's art and beauty is the invisible essence which links all life and transcends language or species. Venus's culture is what humanity collectively creates through thoughts, feelings, words, and deeds. This article is going to include your invitation to meet Venus, what the retrograde is all about, important details of now, relevant reflections, and the light and shadow expressions of Venus in Gemini, along with a detailed article. So your invitation to meet Venus starts with the value of the Venus retrograde. The whole point of any planet going retrograde is to bring up the issues of its domain. And in Venus's case, the primary issues are values, priorities, beauty, love, relationships, and resources. It brings these aspects of life up to the surface for everyone. Essentially, this is getting your attention in a way that prompts you to want to explore more deeply and look at things from a variety of other or new perspectives. Before charting the course of future choices and forward movement, there is a personal review and an individual clearing that must happen for you to acquire more clarity and sure-footedness. Deep breath. The current theme and questions to contemplate. The sign that the retrograde falls in represents the theme, also known as the overtone, and is where Venus extends her stay for one and all. For example, this one is in Gemini. 2012 was the last time Venus retrograded through Gemini, and before that, 2004. So, how have your values and priorities evolved over the last eight years, where your authentic voice, communication, self-expression, creative ideas, thoughts, and concepts, are all concerned. How would you like to evolve over the next eight years? Venus energy focuses your attention on what you deeply value or what you give your resources to, which tells the universe what you truly value. How did you spend your time, energy, and money over the last cycle or two? How will and can that change going forward for the next eight years? Do you want to scratch the surface or do you want to go deeper? If you want to scratch the surface, this is an excellent cycle to consciously co-create with, and you don't even have to know or understand astrology itself. There are many ways to do this, but simple awareness of the cycle is a good start. Beyond that, I have created several custom tools to support this process. If you just want to get to know how Venus feels moving through your own life, then I recommend getting your personal Venus activations. They support you like a custom horoscope that focuses on your relationships, finances, and magnetics. If you want to go deeper, then you can track her cycle by going narrow and deep into what she activates for you personally. And so I recommend the custom guide and joining the Venus Circle. It can be quite remarkable to track this cycle as it unfolds over the next one to two years. Venus enters the zone April 3rd, which will be reviewed between May 13th and June 25th, and then anchored during summer and winter of 2020. It is a powerful experience to follow her cycle like this. So please go to my website for details and be sure to join us for the free two-part introduction in April of 2020. So, of course, the website is karmictools.com under offerings, under subscriptions, under the Venus Circle. You can find details there. Okay, so let's dive in. What Venus Retrograde is about in general. This is not the sign focus. This is just Venus, the planet, and all that she represents doing a review. So it's all about reconnecting with all your six senses, 
focusing on your resources and your definition of wealth and abundance, reviewing and renewing the sacred feminine aspects of your nature, assessing the evolution of your personal values and priorities on all levels, processing and integrating energetic shifts within your relationships and resources, renewing your spirit, faith, and commitment to the sacred feminine, reawakening your way of living your own life and of living on earth with others, assessing the value and purpose of all relationships, partnerships, and collaborations, fortifying and restoring your individual sense of self-value, self-worth, and self-esteem, reviving your essential nature and organically changing how you relate with others, revitalizing and reestablishing your magnetics, what you naturally magnetize and naturally repel, and reviewing anything of value that has been buried, suppressed, or neglected in the last 18 months to 8 years. So that's page 4 can be referred to if you need a little refresher of what the retrograde is all about. But it's a lot of reviewing and assessing and processing and revitalizing that connection with the sacred feminine. So important details of now bring in the shadow period being April 3rd to May 13th. This is when you do the introduction or initiation of the new you and new priorities. Then it moves May 13th to June 25th is when it's technically retrograde. So we do the review, reevaluate, revision, reexamine all your relationships and finances. One or the other is going to stand out a little more for each of us. It's customized for everyone. Direct integration. So we've had the shadow, the initiation. Now we're having the integration period will be June 25th to July 29th when we get to integrate the new you and new priorities. And then we exit shadow July 29th to August 7th. So it's about a week of anchoring the new ideas and expression that's been awakened in your Gemini department and grounding that new eight-year cycle. So... Consider this four-month period of April to August of 2020 while Venus is in Gemini. We're going to dive in. Venus rules values, priorities, resources, relationships, finances, love, art, beauty, and culture. And in Gemini, the lesson of creativity, communication, and self-expression is what she is animating and awakening for one and all. It is a call from within to restore balance as an individual within the context of your thinking and the value of your ideas, thoughts, concepts, and individual voice. Your sense of self-worth and self-value may be in need of some focus or attention. You have evolved in the last eight years or more. This is a great opportunity to renegotiate the terms of both your personal and professional relationships so you can determine what is no longer important to you while preparing to go deeper. Venus retrograde always brings up relationship priorities. If you align your priorities within your being as well as within your primary relationships of now, then it will make the review in your Gemini department more productive and less debilitating. When Venus is in Gemini, it is time to assess your priorities and reestablish the value of your ideas, thoughts, and creations. In relationships, it's time to review what needs to be communicated or expressed for the health of your own relationships that mean the most to you at this time. You'll be assessing what and who is actually worth it to invest any further going forward 18 months or 8 years. This is also bringing up choices and decisions. If you are tracking your own evolution, then you may be feeling that you have stepped into a new identity as of 2017 which required you to learn about power and relationships throughout 2018 and 19 in a new way so that right now in 2020 and 2021 basically, you could use this Venus retrograde to explore the many choices, decisions, options, and opportunities that are available to you which were not available 18 months ago, 8 years ago, or maybe ever. You're going to be presented with new possibilities and it's a good time to get clear on your personal values and priorities so that you can choose wisely. Deep breath. Page 6 initiates with Venus reminding us that all life is interconnected. And Gemini reminds us that action stems from thought. A new 8-year cycle. 
Venus retrogrades every 18 months, which means that your values and priorities shift on a fairly regular basis. Getting a rhythm to this internally will help you flow with your own evolution with far less fear or anxiety and much more trust in the natural order of things, which includes change. Venus's eight-year cycle brings monumental shifts around what is truly important to you and is animated by the sign it falls in. This Venus work is going to be very personal for those with Gemini, Sag, and Virgo, Pisces activated in their charts. Things that were important to you eight years ago are probably not so vital now, and things that were not even on your list of priorities may have moved to the top. New upgrades are available. So consider this next four months, April to August of 2020, a literal and figurative upgrade to your operating system, where your values and priorities, which is Venus, are concerned. What is most important to you and how you think has likely shifted dramatically since 2012 and will shift again by 2028, which is the next time Venus will retrograde in Gemini. Use the 40-day retrograde or any 40 days that work for you during this four-month period and address the issues of your Gemini planets and houses in your personal chart so that you can consciously co-create. Process, integrate, and prepare. Now, as you are able to sufficiently release the old you, along with the old values and priorities. This cycle brings the time to explore how your mind guides your decision-making process on many levels, including unconscious or subconscious levels. The journey through Gemini, April to August of 2020, is a great time to leave the dark, heavy Scorpio process behind and open up to what new life can grow in the empty space recently created within you. Your mind, body, spirit, head, and heart Retrogrades turn the energy inward. It's time to explore the possibilities within your own mind and heart and get to building it so that it can support you and nourish others a little bit down the road. Raw but ready. Venus is all about beauty and culture and how all living things are related and affect one another. Gemini energy will help us explore the possibilities and hopefully learn something new. Basically, the soul level reconnection we just cultivated over the last Venus cycle in the last 18 months has perhaps left us a little raw, but also clarified, purified, and renewed down to our core. Now we must explore the ideas of who we can become individually and collectively. What was all that deep delving self-work for if not to clear space for new expression and new ideas to come in? You may find that your thinking and your choices no longer reflect what is really important to you in the here and now. How do you want to express in new and different ways than over the last eight years? Who do you think you are? You know, what's your perception? And what do your choices and decision-making processes reveal about who you really are and what's really important to you? It's time to evolve and explore new ideas and new perspectives while not getting overwhelmed by the limitlessness of the possibilities or distracted by the details. Deep breath. Recalibrate your perspective. In this case, Gemini means your thinking has evolved over the last eight years and adjustments to your language, behavior, and choices should reflect the upgrade. Taking a time out to review your own mind, how it works, what it focuses on, and how it serves you or not is what this retrograde will likely bring to the fore. Gemini energy always reveals multiple perspectives and illustrates better than any other sign how multiple stories can be conflicting and yet still be true, or at least relevant. It's time to think another way regarding your own relationships and resources. Clean the filter. We each have a unique filter that we run the information through. You may know what I mean. Have you ever said something to someone who took it completely wrong? That's their filter being engaged. You have used your thoughts and language to convey something. They have run it through their filter, which is their life experience or level of consciousness or basic knowledge base, and it completely altered the original meaning. Well, I love to use the dryer filter analogy here. When we clean the lint out of the dryer filter when washing clothes, you think you've cleaned it, and for the most part you have. However, over long periods of time, a waxy buildup accumulates on the filter, and if you were to try to run water through it, you would find that you really need to scrub, rinse, repeat 
before that water would flow through the filter with ease. Our personal mental filters can be like this too. Once people define something as truth, they often do not question it or review it for current relevance, and therefore their thinking becomes outdated and stagnant, very much like that clogged filter. New ideas, thoughts, and concepts cannot get through, and now the filter is no longer working as intended. Research, revisions, and resolutions. The retrograde period should afford you time for the review. Review your thoughts and beliefs. Do some clearing and releasing and prepare the way for new thoughts, new learning, and new ideas to have a place to exist and evolve. Retrogrades are always good for research, revisions, and resolutions. Do your thoughts, words, and deeds reflect your deepest core values? Do you spend your resources of time, energy, and money on memories or materials, education or elitism, progress or postponement? Deep breath. Gemini energy is all about how we think, process, and express what we learn. It's the department of life where communication and being able to express yourself is most important. This is the area of life you love to think about, talk about, and explore the most. It's about gathering, disseminating, and processing the information you gather through your own six senses and life experience. How you learn and what you like to research is also a reflection of your consciousness. Mercury rules Gemini, so Mercury energy is all about change, duality, choices, crossroads, and of course, transition. Transition originally meant going across or over. Sometimes it means changing from one state of form or being to another. What is powerful about this is not in the being here or there, but in being present wherever you are. If you are consciously participating in life, then this is a potent time for you. However, if you are overwhelmed and your systems are on overload, you may short circuit, catalyzing a breakdown that precedes the breakthrough, and you may have to go down before you can come back up and function properly. This is a special Venus retrograde. Every 113 to 130 years, Venus crosses in front of the sun twice in eight years. And the last time, was 2004 and 2012, respectively. I had a special meditation circle in 2004 to celebrate, and I actually got to witness it in 2012 on the Big Island in Hawaii. Every time we have this special alignment, it is in Gemini or Sagittarius, so it always coincides with an evolution of the collective values and social consciousness. It just so happens that then and now we also had Gemini Sag eclipses permanently resetting patterns in the social and collective realms, as well as on an individual level for those with mutable signs activated in their chart. Deep breath. This is very special. Realign with the sacred feminine and restore balance within. These alignments create portals through which we, as individuals and a collective, can choose to activate and move through consciously or not. This particular portal, which is opening again now in 2020, is restoring balance between the masculine and feminine within and around us. At this time, we should activate our inner feminine energy, which knows instinctively how to clear a space with an intention, extend the invitation for all that you need, desire, and deserve, and then allow intuition to guide the next move. The feminine way of getting things done is no better or worse than the masculine way of getting things done. It's just different. Deep breath. Then and now. The year 2012, similarly to now 2020, Mars and Venus will retrograde in the same year, further amplifying this incredible cycle that always leads to the evolution of balance, ebb and flow, yin and yang, up and down, inner and outer, above and below. If any living thing is imbalanced in any way, it affects us all sooner or later. In essence, if we are to align our reality on earth with our core identity represented by the sun and fulfill our infinite potential as human beings, we will need Venus's love to do it because she represents all the key ingredients that we need to succeed, which is caring about life and recognizing the interrelatedness of all things and focusing on beauty and balance and harmony. Deep breath. So relevant reflections. 
last Venus in Gemini. It is a fairly regular occurrence for Venus to move through Gemini every year or so. The last time was June, July of 2019. It's catching it at the retrograde that makes the current one special. However, the last cycle or two that you can remember may have some clues upon reflection that turn out to be some kind of confirmation of what you are facing and or reviewing now. Previous Venus retrogrades in Gemini would have been 2012, 2004, 1996, 1988, these eight-year cycles. This is a larger cycle to focus on, but still may yield some clues. So is there anything connecting those years for you? 1988, 96, 04, and 2012, and now 2020. Basically, all cycles eventually repeat themselves, some more often than others. The same Gemini energy was activated back then and will be again. However, the surrounding planetary support changes, the human condition evolves, and your own personal support systems shapeshift as needed. Look for any pattern in your intimate life. Often these years will coincide with ex-partners circling back or significant past life connections become obvious. Think about the sign lesson, Gemini, voice, communication, and self-expression. The Gemini issues of ideas, thoughts, concepts, facts, information, mental processing, and how you express all that you know. That's what's back on the table. You should be able to delineate a pattern. Think of creative babies, ideas, and stories, real or metaphorical, that you have experienced around those years. Think about your mental well-being and how your education or consciousness has evolved. Think about how you are creating your reality and with what resources. Think of the life-changing events that led you to here and now. Now what? What do you want to create with your voice and power of choice over the next eight years? Set an intention to purify and distill your own communication or self-expression issues into their most useful and basic elements. As a human being with conscious awareness, you are infinitely creative and connected to an infinite power source. Venus retrogrades every 18 months, which means that our values and priorities shift in small ways on a fairly regular basis, but in huge ways every eight years. Getting a rhythm to this internally will help you flow with your own personal evolution with far less fear or anxiety and much more trust in the natural order of things, which includes your own natural evolution. And the last page of the article is the light and shadow expression. Below you will find two lists which are especially good to refer to during the retrograde period and great to check in with throughout the cycle to ensure that you are on track. On track means that you are expressing the light aspects of Venus and Gemini and minimizing your expression of the shadow aspects of Venus and Gemini. So the light aspects are reclaiming your authentic voice and renewing your self-expression, the title of the whole deal. Maintaining the connection to soul that you established with Venus and Scorpio cycle that we just came out of. And I should say heart and soul because Leo was the midpoint. Lightening up, being more sociable, enjoying others, friends and community. We're going to learn all new ways to do that, clearly. Expressing yourself through writing, speaking, singing, or chanting. Any form of self-expression is up for renewal. Experimenting with various ideas without attachment to outcome. This is when we're going to be presented with several ideas and options and possibilities. So it's more about where your values and priorities are in terms of choosing. Researching ideas, clarifying thoughts, and speaking up. Again, when your values shift, you start to care about some new things. Exploring new art forms or alternative mediums of expression. If you've done it one way for a really long time, it's time to shake it up, mix it up. Expanding your creative ideas, visionary thoughts, and individual concepts. Doing things to support any recently discovered new ways of thinking. Creating and improving your personal story based on renewed values. So that's the light list. The shadow list is about being flighty and disconnected or ungrounded, being argumentative for sport or entertainment, being careless with words and about others' thoughts and feelings, game playing and manipulation, scheming or plotting, usually around love or money, 
being overwhelmed with too many ideas or too many details, being dogmatic and narrow-minded, being antisocial, intolerant, and opinionated, being pulled between facts and truth, and being indecisive, and finally parroting, which is mindless, thoughtless, repeating things without checking the facts. So watch that shadow, Gemini. And if you miss our open house in April, you can always request copies of the replay and the activations, which tells you exactly what area of life Gemini is for you personally. So whether you get the book and the reading or go any further, you will know exactly what department of life is being affected if you join us for that free introduction. Also, there will be the custom guide and reading, which is your personal connection to Venus, and I go through that with you for $150, and you get all your activations for the entire cycle. So it's like your personal horoscope for 18 months, but it's also the workbook that we use in the Venus Circle when we go month to month, and that would be $25 a month for that subscription. So you'll be set up, and you can do it on your own, but most people join the circle so we can do it together because, of course, that's always more fun. So check it out on karmictools.com under subscriptions. Venus Circle is right there. And reach out if you have any additional questions. I thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoyed the article, and we'll share it with those who resonate. This is Kelly M. Beard of karmictools.com signing off. <laughs>